Burkhart, do Merkel's comments cause you any concern after what was a very different G7 meeting to the one last year? Well, thank you and good morning to you too. No, they don't cause me concern. Well, in a way, she's only stating the obvious. It has been quite visible for a period of time that the interests of the United States and Europe are moving further apart than together. Now, interestingly, this may actually be, turn out to be a blessing in disguise because what usually happens when the world outside of Europe looks more unpredictable that Europeans may actually at this point in time move closer together and address what has been missing for so long, namely institutional reform and a way forward for the European Union and the Eurozone in particular. Okay, so you see that this could be positive uh, for Europe on the one hand, but what about the rest of the world? Are we going to look at this G7 and see it as a turning point in history in terms of international relations? No, we shouldn't read too much into it. Look, the G7 used to be the seven most powerful economic countries in the world. Now, those times are long gone. Nowadays, when you look at the G7 economies, these aren't the seven most powerful economies in the world. They miss some much more important ones, namely those from Asia and emerging markets. And that's why the G20, if anything, are more relevant and important uh, than anything. What the G7 really is about is it's about countries who share similar thoughts and philosophy on values, on governance, on institutions, the rule of law. And the only thing one can read into this from a markets perspective is that Europe really must get its act together to step up security. And that, from a markets perspective, is certainly good news for the defense and security companies. Right, so that's what you're focusing on then from the markets is the security aspect. What about protectionism? Protectionism is a real and present challenge and it remains to be seen how that will pan out in the years to come. Without any doubt, protectionism is not good for growth, prosperity and markets to say the least. Um, but so far so good this has mostly been talk, not action. This year, global trade is actually moving up, not down. But we must remain very vigilant about this. And there is, a, there is cause concern that we must monitor, certainly with the protectionist rhetoric that we have been hearing out of the current US administration.